Franklinton, North Carolina. Uh, if you've been watching our shows on Video Chicken, you may recognize where we are. Uh, we're back over here where... Yeah, I don't know what it was. Uh, Jimmy, how, how long ago was it we cleaned out your hen house? About a month ago. A month ago. All right, so we were here a month ago, cleaned out, her hen, cleaned out his hen house, uh, 18 months worth, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was approximately two years. Let, let's go check out... The garden. Well, hold on. Oh, that's a good point. All right, hold on. People are going to start coming in. Uh, so we got to let them come in. What's going on, guys? Live. Happy Sunday, fun day. Um, we got Mama Hens with brand new baby chicks. And Jimmy here is doing a run extension off the back. So I can't wait to show you guys a lot of the things that he's going through, good, bad. And he's like, man, I got some questions. And it brings back a lot of great memories. I know it's windy. Uh, hopefully, we got good signal. Uh, let me know. And of course, if you guys have any questions. So I want to show you guys what's going on, and then we can definitely get into some questions here. Uh, so is the wind okay? Audio is okay? Video is okay? Let me know. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you don't mind the blue moon. I know some people are judgmental, but it's been a hell of a day. We've been going 100 miles an hour. Hold on, I'm coming around, Danielle. Danielle doesn't want to be a camera, but there's Mackenzie. Um, so truth be told, Mackenzie, this is her first time meeting customers she sold a coop to. Uh, Jimmy's yeah. wife, Danielle, won't be on camera, but she's got some great yeah. questions too, but you guys should say hi to them. All right, there's already 18 people. All right, so we're going to be going, talking about mama hens and baby chicks, which is the best oh way oh my gosh, to introduce, running. sorry, sorry, best way to introduce <laughs> chicks to your flock, or if you're going to grow your flock, this is the best way to do it. So I'm just going to give you guys a close-up shot. Here we go. So we're gonna go, well, hold on. Let me show you guys the coop. Look at this beautiful American coop, four by six hen house, 18 foot long run. Jimmy's just done, Jimmy and Danielle have done an amazing job. Um, just, it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we're gonna walk around here real quick. And hopefully I don't lose Wi-Fi. I'm gonna try not to get too far away, but here is where Jimmy is doing his own version of a run extension. And he had some very interesting questions. So I thought you guys would get a kick out of if you ever go to do this, there's some complications. Now, I'm trying to tell them, just free range. Um, but they travel a lot and they don't want to let the chickens free range if they're not home, which I can totally get. You know, anything that happened to your babies. Um, Danielle did say she is not naming the baby chicks just in case. So there's that. We're going to go talk about that. Also, Jimmy's going to show us some results of the chicken litter, right? The chicken droppings from oh, yeah. uh, the clean out that we did a couple, uh, about a month ago. All right, so we're going to go into the run. Here we go. We got two beautiful mama hens. See them puffing up? They, they're not happy with me because, believe it or not, check this out. Well, hold on. Let's see if they'll let me look. You guys have any idea what might be under them? Where are they? Oh, I hear them. Oh, mama. There they are. Look at that. So, here's the point. You got a hen that goes broody. Let us. Wait, are they co parenting? Oh, it is 2022. We got co-parenting hens. Uh, huh? No, no, no. It's okay. So, um, we got two mamas co-parenting the baby chicks. Um, and so they were, they went broody. They sat on some eggs. After 21 days, they, they happened to get lucky and went and got some day old baby chicks. Came out at night, put them underneath the mama hens. And mama hen said, oh, okay, you guys hatched. Welcome to the party. And they do all the, the work for you. Where are all the babies? Uh, they're underneath the mama because they might be getting cold. Okay, so Mama Hen, she's got. Look at them. They're gonna go right underneath her and keep them There's warm. How, how many baby chicks are there? Like six. Six baby chicks. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll also, share this. Let's see how many people we can get with off the cuff video. We got so many great things here. Beautiful American coop. Beautiful day. And uh, the best is if I can get on video where she'll pick them up with her wing and walk them around. Here's the other thing too you guys may not notice. Hear are how they sound a little different. That's them talking to the baby chicks. God, you are beautiful. Look at her. Oh, I pick up the baby chick? Oh, hold on. That's good. All right, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. We are live in Franklin, North Carolina. Last minute decision to come out here to Jimmy's Coop and uh, he had some questions for me, so. I figured, you know, what the hell? These are the moments I always want to share with you guys what's going on because if you have a chicken coop and you're going to extend the run, these are some of the things that you may run into. So we're going to do some pointers and tricks and things that I've learned. 
But this is awesome. This is something that we learned from our chicken expert, Kristen. Dad, oh, look at this little one. Up, She's. Pick it up. Well, hold on. No, I'm, I'd like to let them be. Look at the little baby chicks booted. Then they're co co parenting. Oh, there she is right there. So, Kristen, oh, she retracted her message. Uh, Kristen, do they normally co parent? What's going on here? Why do we got co parenting? Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> um, why do we got co parenting mama hens? Yeah, I know it's 2022, so I guess that's just normal, right? Listen to them talking differently. That's the wrong one. Uh, no, not this one. No, the one over there that's tall. Oh, yeah. So what's interesting was I told them they might co-parent. Really? Why? Why are they co-parenting? Um, all right, so I just want to show you guys. They all just... There, there they are. Okay. I got one. So there's the baby chicks. It's perfectly fine. And what's great is the mama hen is the brooder. You don't have to get a heat lamp. You don't have to get a heat plate. She will do everything. I've been walking him through this and would have come. Well, you should have came up here. Ah, oh, there's always tomorrow. Maybe we'll come back. Um, we actually just realized at the last minute we we're going to come here. Anyways, what kind of hen is this? What kind of hen is this uh, cream one? Americana. You sure? I am sure, buddy. Uh, Kristen, is this an Americana? She's beautiful. I love the colors. Can you guys say, look at that gray with the cream? If that, oh, look at the legs. Yeah, there's the dot. I don't see the, I don't know. Kristen, can you confirm? You sure? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, so wait, maybe they're not co-parenting. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, here we go. What's going on? Listen to him talk. Look at them all puffed up. That's an Americana. The, probably the most beautiful Americana I've ever seen. Anyways, okay, so let's get at it. Oh. Don't touch me with your nasty elbows. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at the. Um, <laughs> you guys ever fire. have? Do you have any problems with the chickens How going up the ladder? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. So textbook. So again, we're an 18 foot run. I love the chicken paraphernalia. We got a uh, baby chick water out here. Baby chick feed. Baby chick feed. Got the regular feeders. And um, again, Mackenzie's here, meeting with. For the first time a customer she sold a coop to almost two years ago. All right, Jimmy, let's go. You ready to get started? Let's go, man. All right, so I'm going to flip this around. You should quit smoking. It's not good for you. Um, the more dominant hen will end up with more chicks, even if you have, even if you evenly split them up between the two. Huh. You think the dominant chick, the, the dominant hen would um, not want less hens. All right, so let's show you what's going on over here. Wow, dude, your garden... Oh, wow. We were here a month ago? Yeah, nothing. That's all chicken shit. Here's chicken shit. That looks good. Dude, th those plants flourished. So how many time how many years have you had this type of garden? Um uh, probably about two years. Two years. So last year did it do this at all? Not not as good, no. We had to add um a bunch of nutrients. And this year we tilled in the... Um, oh, so you did till. Remember, that was the big talk. To till or not to till? Well... What should we do? I know. That was a, a big... It's hard uh, to break old habits, huh? Well, that was a big topic of conversation. And what we did is we just gave it a nice layer of hemp uh -huh. from the uh, hen house. Yep. And we tilled it in. And we let it do its thing for probably about three weeks. Okay, so you kind of let it bake in? Yep, and then we plant it, and these things are flourishing. So chicken shit's amazing for gardens. Look, here's the... I know, I know. In the I know, I know. I've seen it myself. Okay, here we go. So Jimmy, what's going... Oh, there goes Danielle. Sorry, Danielle. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, she's out of control. Anyways. So here's the backside of the American Coop, and what's what's going on here? You got there's a lot of pressure-treated lumber going on. Well, so our thought process was to add a run extension so when we're out of town at the lake hanging out the chickens can come out and we don't have to worry about any right predators none of that um because we just added seven chicks to our flock we want to make them comfortable and uh believe it or not what's crazy is i think these chickens have become spoiled <laughs> you think yeah well that's a, that's a good thing that's what we're supposed to do right 18 feet is not enough run for them so they want a free range. So when they don't come out in free range, they get mad and angry. That's and, right. And uh, so when we're out of town or at the lake or somewhere, 
this will allow them to come out and be happy. And this was our first take at a run extension. I see you're rocking some pocket hole joinery. I love pocket hole joinery because of you. Yep, yep, yep. Here's the jig right here. And um, this is where I started. I built every coop just like this. And within the first second, I walked up and he had it in the wrong gauge. So I apologize. Oh. Hopefully, hopefully you, you didn't mind me correcting you, but I didn't want to see you making a mistake. Love it. Love the Bojangles. Oh, yeah. If you guys don't know Bojangles, you're missing the best fried chicken. Great idea. How big is the extension? All right, so tell us. 18 what did, feet. 18, 18 by 18. 18. Okay, well, that makes sense because we're matching the 18 foot of the coop. Yep. Going out 18 foot that way. Okay, so... The first thing you asked me when we first got here is, Matt, <laughs> how do we tie into the existing coop? Yep. Sucks, don't it? When you are building a chicken coop, it's all about having everything on the same plane. Because if you don't, you're gonna, it's not going to look as good, especially when you go put the screen on. And you plan on this being a run. You plan on this uh, protecting your hands just like your regular coop, right? Right. So, and this is interesting. Look how tall you went. Yeah. What was your original thought? Tell me real quick what your original thought was. How to connect, it, anyways. So what we were gonna do is, what my thought process was, okay, we have gutters for our water barrel. Yep. Okay, so I was gonna tie off level somewhere right here. And then figure out how to put uh, hardware cloth. Yeah, it's not fun, is it? Here. So, you guys got any ideas? I got one that I think you should do. I already told him. I said, this could be the path of least resistance. Um, that's going to get tricky. And you're not going to like it. Because you're not going to like the looks of it. You are a perfectionist. One of the things I love about you. Uh, you're going to go insane. Because you're going to... See? See? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, why do you guys keep retracting your messages? That's so funny. I've never seen so many people retract messages. Uh, and I saw there were some questions real quick, so let's get to them. Um, great idea. How big is the extent? And now when she does come out for a minute, all my other hens back on her babies. So Kristen, actually, they were talking about the same thing here. The Rhode Island Red is coming in and pecking at the babies. Yes, we have noticed that. However, I will say it's not a I'm going to kill you peck. It's a go by your mom peck if that makes any sense so a little tough love pack yes very nice okay that would make sense Kristen. that makes sense also and, and Kristen just mentioned the same thing i was about to say i think what you're going to want to do because when it comes to attaching screen it's all about having everything on the same plane so even like right here i love the pocket screw joinery but did you plan on adding another two by four coming down on the inside of the four by four or no so i was going to put another um header or whatever you want to call it from call here to here yep, yep. from here to here yep. that way when i tie off to the coop it's level yeah no i get that that's the easy part so my thought process it was envision this right yeah an l yeah that's the only thing i can come up with no hold on i'm talking about wait, yeah look right here so when you go to put your screen on the inside of the run where you're going to put another piece right here another piece of wood to catch for the hardware cloth yes I was just going to go to the outside of the 4 by 4s but you you mentioned... Oh, oh, dude, I see what's dude. going on. You're going to attach to the outside plane. Dude, this is not... Your, Danielle, your, you okay with that? This is not your beautiful coupe, okay? This is... Oh, you can't and, shortcut and attach to the outside. It's not your beautiful coupe. It's a run extension. Wait, I don't know. Look no, at McKenzie's no, no, no. over there hiding Danielle. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Okay, so that, 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 you know what? That is a good idea. If you don't care, um, yeah, there's your flat plane. Attached to it. Don't look at that. I, I, I know you see it. No, it, that's fine because this, this it's a, it's a, uh, it's tricky to I make can sure fix everything it. stays I can flush fix it. if you can't use a face clamp to flush it. And, um, there are tricks to making sure that doesn't happen. But, anyways, now are you gonna put a solid roof up top or are you gonna screen it? It's just going to be screened. So my, my original thought was, let's build a wall of hardware cloth, right? Yeah. And Danielle was like, no, I'm, I'm, I think predators can climb this wall and they will. get over. Well, you got to have something up top. Were you going to leave it open? My thought was to leave it open, mm -hmm. but she was like, no. 
No, and I can tell you right now, you're gonna hate having it screened on top. I know, because leaves and all yes. this other crap is gonna drop on it, right? Yep. You're gonna be out here with a leaf blower. You're gonna hate it. And, and you got a pretty big span here. And you got a lot of, this is gonna drive you nuts trying to connect there. So there's so many things you gotta think about. Always try to visualize everything on the same plane. Oh, you're gonna attach up top. Yes, sir. So, I don't wanna freak you out. You can definitely get away with that, especially making sh make sure you use stainless steel staples. My thought, if you could attach from underneath, you're not creating any more holes going down because you're gonna create thousands of little pockets with those staples. Oh, you mean for like water? With water. So splitting hairs, but something to think about. I just wanna share that out there with you guys because these are all the little things we have to think about. Um, and so if you get a chance, I know what you're gonna end up doing. You're gonna end up putting a metal roof on here. No, because no. I don't have a pitch. Not yet, and that's an easy solution. Shed roof, okay? Um, rafters and cut your taper. It don't have to be a huge pitch, but it's doable. We've done that many times. What, what you have to remember is I was totally shooting from the hip on this project, right? Uh-huh. And yeah, I'm not a framer or I'm not Matt. And I, I, You're doing I, extremely well. But I'm It's not, not easy, I, is it? That's the point I want to explain to people. Once you start going, um, there's a lot that you have to think about. Foresight, right? Yeah, I mean, even down to okay. this 4x4 this, this four four line. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and you were telling me earlier that you had to change up because you yeah, got because a, look at this you got this right beautiful here. oak over here. Um, and so you ran into the tree and you had to move it? Yes, sir. So it, if I wanted to come off the edge of the, your coop, uh -huh. right here, which yep. I wanted to do, so when we drop studs, it would line up with your edge, but we would have hit the tree. Yep. So I had to offset it. Oh, just dig up the tree and move it. All right, so here, here's what's going on. You guys are you guys are nailing it. The easiest thing to do is screen this off. You're gonna have like a little breezeway. Just make a tunnel. Trying to connect from from your new run to the existing coop potentially could be a nightmare. It's definitely doable. Knowing that you're a perfectionist, I don't think you're gonna like the look. Wow. A tunnel, that, that was my original thought, you know, doing like a chicken tunnel. Yeah. I, I want to buy the framing from you. Yeah. And we frame in a automatic door frame. Yeah. We don't necessarily need that. Yeah, look at this awesome nature at its best. I love it. I don't know why. I just, I just love it. It's, it's so much easier than raising them in a brooder. Right? Oh, yeah, this is Hopefully awesome. you guys can see that. That's one of my favorite breeds, the Blue Lace Red Wine Dot. Just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely love. And Kristen's Kristen's on right now. She was saying that um, she's been guiding you along the way. Yep, she has. Um, which is awesome. This is one of her favorite things to do. And what I love about that, and for all you guys out there watching, that's the beauty of Carolina Coops. We check every single box, even having a chicken expert. And um, it's not complicated. That's the other thing I like about Kristen's advice. I'm sure you probably noticed that is we have a tendency to overthink things. And it doesn't get any easier than this, right? I, I've been in touch with Kristen, Kristen quite a bit before this whole process. Since we bought the little chicks and introducing them and the after, uh, the after part aspects. Like, okay, we've introduced them, what do we do now? And she's given me great advice. So, uh, so far it's been really good. Looks like Chris is actually helping respond to some of the comments. Um, so, okay, again, if you guys are just joining us, we are live. I'm going to give you a quick walk around. Uh, we were here a month ago. Chris and I did Video Chicken Live. Uh, Jimmy let us come here and clean out his hen house with 18 months worth of chicken shit. And he put it in his garden. It looks absolutely amazing. Um, just goes, you know, Miracle Girl has nothing on chicken manure, that's for sure. And then the other thing is, here's your American Coop 4x6 hen house, 18 foot run, absolutely gorgeous. Love the paint job, love the steps. He's got like this landing going up to the side door. Look at the mom hens, can you guys see them? Let me know if you do. Um, love the coopscaping, just absolutely gorgeous. And, oh, I gotta show you guys. Danielle, when'd you get that new sign? 
Check out this sign. Did you did you make this? Or did you come up with it? We got it at Tractor Supply. Oh, okay. Now it's, it's still pretty cool. Okay. Um, all the single ladies. I don't know. Um, Mackenzie. Yes. What do you, what do you think? Your fans want to say hi to you. Are we? Uh, how are we feeling? Great. We did a little playback last oh, week. So yeah. So what do you think of the South? <laughs> what kind of plants has he placed around the coop? Danielle, what kind of plants you got around here? Strawberries. Hey, dog. Yeah, strawberries. Hi. Oh, I see the lavender. That's one of Nan's favorites. They sit on the lavender. Now, and you're probably going to, I see you just created a wonderful yard out here to grow all kinds of stuff. Uh, what's this thing right here? Oh, uh, I can't even pronounce it. We're, we're sit. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out the inside of the hen house because this is absolutely one of the best parts. Is you know we cleaned this out about a month ago. Carabiner, great way to secure your hen house with the gate latches. I love your Americana. She is gorgeous. All right, so how many bales? I'm gonna flip you guys around. How many? How, how many okay, bales so, did we put so, in here? So when we cleaned out we put one in with mm -hmm. and we supplemented it with some dirt oh that's right now it got heavily saturated so i added another bale this okay is two bales this is two bales so four by six hen house two bales heavily saturated because you had a lot of droppings correct okay so then you added so we have 80 pounds of hemp in here and how many pounds total did you use last time do you remember I think we used three bales. Three bales. Remember how thick it was? Oh, yeah. And you still had room. We did. And there is zero smell. It's 90 degrees, just like you didn't catch Ingrid's when we went to Ingrid's coop. Yeah, there's zero smell. Zero smell. I just don't know how else to put it. That is the beauty of hemp, the deep litter system. If you're thinking about getting chickens, trust me, is that easy? I love the nesting pads. You can do all kinds of different things. Look at these bad boys. Yeah, rope wrap roost bars. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's one of the babies. So what kind of baby chicks did you guys get? We got a couple Brahmas. We got some more Air, uh, Americanas. Um, a golden laced wine dot, mm -hmm. red laced wine dot. Nice. And that's pretty much it. Notice too, ventilation on all four sides, mm. going out through the ridge cap, going through the doors. I mean, that's just beautiful. I lost my own. Uh... Oh, that's an interesting idea. You lost <laughs> your dolls, what'd you do to them? they're gone underneath the hen house okay so i'm missing a whole conversation going on um but chris i appreciate you being here. i wish kristen was here she was supposed to come hang out with us all weekend that's okay um yeah, yeah we got to try to do it again so okay so i'll see if you guys have any questions when did you start on your run extension uh two days ago two days ago and probably by us showing up we screwed you all up not, so not sorry about all. that not at all uh, so, again, if you guys just joined us, we are live in Franklinton, North Carolina. Yep. Back out the coop we cleaned a month ago. Jimmy had some questions for us about doing a run extension because they don't want to let their chickens free range. They want to give them as much room as possible so they are completely protected, which if you cannot free range, that is the most important thing you can do. Um, well, we, we're, uh, we let them free range. This is so when we're not here. Right, right. Um, so if I misspoke, I apologize. Give them as much room as possible. Unrelated question. Do chickens need nails and beaks trimmed or just let nature take its course? Um, just let nature take its course. One of the worst things to do is to change anything the way the chicken's already been designed. I know a lot of factory farms with chickens will clip their beaks, literally cut it to minimize pecking. It's insane. No, you don't need to do that. And then the nails, I've never, no. Um, okay, but good question. Uh, cause I know a lot of people ask that. I mean, the, what I would say is look at these chickens, right? They have a good life. Yeah. I'm going to go back in there. I want to show you guys, if you didn't catch it earlier, um, Jimmy and Danielle here, the owners of this beautiful American coop, one of their hands or you had two hands go broody. Yes, sir. And there is no better way to introduce new hens to your flock by the way nature intended. And we introduce seven. Oh, she just jumped down. All right, I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Try 
trying not to shake. I apologize. And look at this. Look at the soil. The forest floor inside the runs is absolutely beautiful. A lot of mulch. Oh, is that rain? I think it's it's sprinkling. Yeah, it's gonna start raining. We're up to 50 people now. Again, if you're just joining us, we are live in Franklin, North Carolina, checking out an American Coop. Jimmy is putting a run extension on the back. But more importantly, I love this. You probably have heard the horror stories. Oh my gosh, what do I gotta do to introduce new hens to my flock? This is the best way to do it because there is no fighting. Oh, look at the little feathered feet. Yeah, that one's booted. That one's Brahma baby. Yeah, one of the Brahmas. Yeah. Uh, two day old baby chicks. The mama hen becomes the brooder. She makes sure they know what to do to eat. She keeps them clean. She's going to protect them. The Rhode Island Red, the head hen in charge, she's been coming over, giving them little love taps. Uh, tough love taps, I would say, to put them in, to put them in line, I guess. That's so funny. And I love that they're co-parenting. I don't know if I've ever seen it, but I guess it does make sense to stick together, right? I would think. All the other hands are like, whatever. Whatever. We got the little waterer, little feeder right there. And they've been staying inside the run too. That's an interesting point, right? They've been staying inside here because they must like it for some reason. They're familiar with it. They know it's safe. Look at that. It's so funny. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. This is what we do on the weekends, I guess. We just kind of drive around. We've been driving around all day. Um, I got a great video earlier. We went and did a follow-up at a coop that we're going to be replacing. And the last time I was there, I didn't had no idea. They took, they repurposed their chicken waterers as planters hanging planters so i got a great little video on that i just saw a question about something from australia we got a new employee starting tomorrow he's from australia um, um hello from australia on a 20 acre farm we just coop we have our hands at the friends until we rebuild a coop so i tell you we've been getting a lot of calls from australia it's really sad here and i'm not sure if it's still true let us know you guys can't get what we call lumber you guys call timber and they've been wanting our coops there it's been a bear getting them in um to Australia oh my goodness. so let me know if that's still the case there you guys finally getting lumber it seems like the news we see here yeah, in the states is that Australia is on complete lockdown you guys aren't allowed to do anything not sure if that's true or not scary it is scary what we're seeing that's for sure what so what do you think Mackenzie what oh geez Danielle <laughs> here come here um so what do you think of their coup hey, come over it. here I'm over here so we get a nice backdrop. And you remember selling this coop? This was, yeah, this was Do you remember nice Mackenzie selling you the coop, Jimmy? Absolutely. She, she, she did so, a good job, right? So here's how it went down, right? Oh, here we go. Yep, this is an awesome story. Um, I don't know if I would call. Well, so <laughs> the wife and I were like, we should get chickens. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we went and bought nine chickens and we're like, okay, what do we do now? And I said, okay, well, yes, <laughs> I said, all right, uh, let's, let me do some research and see what the best coop is. And I went to Google and I said, best chicken coop. Guess who came up? Hopefully us. So I, wa I started watching YouTube videos and I was like, holy crap, this guy's got his crap together. Crap Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. And this was the first time that I did sales. I I used to help with sales, and then they moved. You're a natural. Everything else. But then I did... So fun fact, Mackenzie's a bartender and there's no better salespeople on this planet than a bartender, right? What? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I used to be their, their waitress for lunch before <laughs> I was... Yeah, we used to crash that bar. Yeah. You know, just and, roll and, up in a box truck with office chairs. Oh my God, we used to go bar hopping. <laughs> the oh, we got a puppy. Yeah, so Roxy. How, does the, how does the puppy do with the chickens? Oh, she loves them. It's oh, good. Um, you know what? Oh, uh, suck it I, in. I've heard oh, a lot of horror stories and... <laughs> I know, I've been standing here doing the same. It's black, no, we black we introduced flattering. our dog to our chicks when they were in the brooder. Super right. Super young. And, it's the best way to do it. Yep, and she's... Especially with abs. Now she just, she doesn't even care. And so, actually, I hear a lot of people say when they're able to do that, their chickens are a lot safer just because of the presence of a dog. I agree. Yep, I agree. Well, that, and it keeps that, like, your aerial predators off. 
you know, there's not, you're not going to have as many hawks, you're not going to have as many predators that are going to come in if there's the presence of another animal that's running around causing a commotion. Yep. Not only that, Someone says they're surprised you didn't reach out and ask for help from us for the run extension. I did. Well, you asked me to I come out and give some that. advice. And it took well, us a little while to get out here. We would have rocked it out for you. Danielle's also our artist. Come here. Come Danielle here. sells out. Uh, Jimmy sells out Danielle's art services and chicken Isn't stuff. That kind of yeah, I remember getting barter system. Uh, hold on, I saw a comment about Australia. I want to. I really want to know. Australia is just starting to reopen now, so hopefully you'll you will get our timber now. We are currently rebuilding our coop and cabin. We are okay. So yeah, so Australia had no lumber. Any idea on when hemp might be available? What was the last word on hemp? Another week. That's Wait, what I heard when I got out. in on Wednesday. That whole soon. Full is gone. Oh yeah. Oh god, Good. that's been gone for a month. Dude, we, yeah, it, we sell it so quick. What do we get? We get six hundred. Buy it when you can, people. Buy it. Um, plus the twenty sixteen bedding. That usually will last us only about five months. If that. Yeah. Um, so we're um, through six hundred and sixty bales. We keep our online sales. And actually, the, they've, it's been going through even quicker now because a lot of other people have been out of stock, which makes me mad that and we're out of stock. Product. Right. And so Kristen just opened up and started using the new hemp that came in. And she said she absolutely loved them. There was absolutely zero dust. You could not see any dust. Is, is this stuff from Canada? Yep. I'm so. excited to try it. I wish I could bring a bale home. Well, you can't fly back home with a bale of hemp? All right, guys. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. Huh? That's if we make it up there. I know we're supposed to go up there, but it's not looking good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back in the run real quick. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, hope like this was helpful. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. If you have a mama hen, go broody. Give her fertile eggs or get baby chicks if you can time it right. There's baby chicks underneath her. They're hiding. She's keeping them warm. That's all there is to it. Well, it's dropped a few degrees. It's not, you know... Hotter than the hotel. <laughs> nah, it's warm. So and we did settle the debate. Ladder ramp. Going back to ladder, ramp will be an option. Especially for the special chickens. What's up with the zip ties here? Oh, uh, that was for the uh extension cord for the um Oh the heater? The heater, yes sir. Gotcha. Yep, you can see the water bar system. What do you think of the water bar system? Pretty slick, huh? The water bar is the best invention ever. Good job, dude. Thank you. I'm not paying him to say that, I promise. Oh, this is why we take the time to come out here, because I want to show you guys. Uh, when will you get the heater for the auto workers? Are we out of heaters? They're not manufacturing them right now. Oh. Okay. One, I feel so stupid. I don't no, know. That, um, that's why I have a team here to make sure they know. But they can't find the, um, the raw material to make the bite cord or the actual heating element, I think. <sighs> Um, but it's ridiculous. Supplement, it, the supply it. chain issue is an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna, go ahead. You can, there's, uh, the next step up is the H419. We typically use the H409. But no, we made an executive decision, or I did, to switch to the 1500 watt. Oh, that's neat. You didn't get the memo? I didn't get a lot of memos. Good job. Oh, and there's not non hanging out. She's like, I don't want to talk business. All right, guys. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Hope you had a great weekend. Back to work tomorrow, at least for us. And uh, I don't know. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for hanging.